all right guys so in this video i want to show you how you can get your own mtn uh data plan like the cheapest so basically this video is meant for students but if you are up if you happen not to be a student or you are a student but you now still want to use this um, data plan for some other thing because this data plan is uh, restricted to certain websites but there are ways we can go about it whereby it will be used for general purposes so i want you to sit back and watch the step by step on how i'm going to show you this if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel what are you waiting for go ahead and hit on the subscribe button and if you haven't followed me on my facebook follow me right now so you can always get video like this thank you very much now i want to sound a disclaimer please i have tested this thing and it's working so if it is not working i will not make this video of course i will not tell you what is not real so but for some persons if it doesn't work for your phone it simply means it's a configuration of your phone all right and i but i've not tested it for iphone for, for iphone users probably you might try it yourself so guys what we are trying to check out now we are trying to see over 20 websites we can access using this data plan over 20 websites we can access please watch this video carefully if you don't get it watch it again watch it carefully so you can understand it is very straightforward so we're trying to see the websites that it can access so these are the website So guys you have over 20 websites you can access with this mtn data plan but there's one that is not here which is the youtube the youtube plan is what is not here with the help of this data plan you can watch youtube over and over like it's working for youtube very well so let's continue watching so guys let's see how we can get the data plan itself using that same code star 344 ash Meanwhile, if you're watching and this is interesting to you, please share this video so more people can see it and also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't. Thank you. So you can see from this place, uh, we have different um, data price. We have the 350, we have the one of 250 MB and the rest. So the highest here is 4 gig, which is sold for 500. And validity is 30 days. That's a whole lot of it's making sense guys so you can see valid for 30 days well, i want to try to get i will subscribe and you see how it goes i will subscribe for an example let me do it so you can see it yourself it is not a scam it's working perfectly and show you how to maneuver it for it to work for different purposes thank you What happens here is that it's trying to ask you auto renew or one off that means each time your data is finished automatically it renew itself that's what but i will go for the two the number two which is one off so we press two all right so our data subscription for 350 megabytes weekly bundle was successful Congratulations to myself and congratulations to yourself. So the next thing now I'm going to show you how you are to use this data for any purposes at all. Alright, the final step is for you to go to your Play Store and download the app you can see on the screen. It's a VPN app. So go and download it now and I will tell you how to make the settings. When you are done downloading to your phone, open the app right away. 
after opening the app click on where the arrow is pointing at so let's make some settings this vpn i'm trying to show you how you can set the vpn app in order for you to use this data plan for anything you want to do at all so it will not be restricted to only just that website given to you so you can see mtn m cost 22 that's the one you will pick pick that one please no order and that's where you will set it to so after that you turn on the button it is saying no connected when you turn on the button it turns to green so you will see what happens now it's connecting and after connecting it's connected now you can start now you can start enjoying your data as you like just keep browsing and the mtn m pulse you don't have to change it that one should be like that each time you want to browse always come to this app and turn on the app to become connected so if you want to turn it off you press that connected it will turn off you can see it now thank you very much So guys, thank you very much for staying to the end and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also follow me on my Facebook page. And lastly, share this video, share with your friends. Thank you.